Leave us alone, Jerry. No more emails, no more calls, you understand? Message received loud and clear, little brother. And don't call here again. Don't worry, you won't hear from me right. again. Hey, I appreciate you trying to protect me from your brother, but you don't have to cut him off on my account. You can't even imagine what Jerry's done. I was one of his hostages in the Metro Court. I know he's capable of Jack's. Now, if I would have listened to you and made him pay for the crimes that he committed... Okay, you know what? We're so far past that. There's no reason to look back. None. You deserve to know what's really going on. If you want to tell me about Jerry's latest escapade, I will listen. I mean, he's your brother. I try to respect that. It's very generous of you. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, Jerry has an incredible way of messing up your life just when everything is going well. You take on the guilt, the blame. It always ends up costing you more than it costs Jerry. You're right about that. But, you know, if, if, if you want to talk to me about your brother, <laughs> I, will, I will try to help you. When have we both become so noble and understanding? It's really annoying, isn't it? What happened to those big fights we used to have about my brother? You said you don't like fighting. I don't like fighting. I like the making up. You do. Look, I want you to tell me what you really think. Don't give Jerry any more power than he deserves. Don't take his calls or read his emails. And if the next thing Jerry gets himself into really does blow him to bits, great. If not, you know what? Let him stay gone. Jerry left you. Is that what you really want? Yes, that's what I really want. Okay, I mean, that's, that's what I'll do. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't call you. I have to go over some things. You're, you're, you're too late because Olivia was already here to clean me out. For what? Uh, don't try to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. She was here to pick up a huge check for the micro rentals fund. Oh, God, the endowment deadline. I totally forgot about that. Well, I'm glad she took care of that. It's not like you to forget something. Like that. I've had a lot on my mind with everything going on with Michael. I, I'm, I'm here... Jack Sloan, that specialist I was telling you about, Ingrid Henson. The one who created Michael's procedure? Yeah, she exam... Oh, my God. You all right? <sighs> hey. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Jeez. <sighs> See, you do this all the time. You get so busy that you can't take care of yourself. I just didn't eat breakfast this morning. That's no, all. you're probably eating potato chips, drinking coffee, eating out of that vending machine. Why don't I make you something, you know, healthy? You are the only one who can make broccoli taste good. Yeah, because it must I, be the way you fry it up or something. No, I don't fry. I, it's, I saute it in, in olive oil with a little garlic. You don't like that? Michael liked it. What? Well, he ate it sometimes. Remember that? You okay? What were you saying about Michael? Well, Dr. Henson examined him. She said that he is definitely in a permanent coma, and she agrees with Patrick that his hand moving was just a reflex, and there's no guarantee that the procedure will work for him. Did you ask her about her patients who died after the procedure? Yes. They had pre-existing conditions. There's no guarantee that that's what they died of. Well, at least you've heard it from an expert. Something else. Hmm. The longer Michael's in a coma, the more his brain will atrophy. So if we wait a couple of years until the procedure has better odds, Michael could wake up severely damaged. Worse than he is now. Right now? Yeah, don't tell anyone anything until I get back, okay? Give me a chance to work this out. What are you working on? I want to look into every possible treatment for Michael. I thought that's what you've been doing. Just have to follow up on some contact, face to face. Okay, I'm going to call the airport and have him prep the jet. Thank you. Once, we, once we've considered all of our alternatives, then we can make a decision about Michael. I thought we made a decision about Michael. I know. I just want to exhaust all of our options. I love you more than you can imagine. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? I promise. I love you. Oh, I love you too.